Hey, how's it going? My name is Joshua, and I'm a recent graduate of Dev Code Camp. I'm a U.S. Army veteran who, in recent years, has worked in various manufacturing jobs. I initially discovered my passion for programming as a teenager, just messing around and building video game fan websites and helping recreate video games with a group of friends on several different forms. Today's demo project, Adopt Me Local, was inspired by a passion for helping animals that my mother unknowingly instilled within me at a young age. She would always foster animals and give me the opportunity to go and volunteer at places like animal shelters and horse ranches. And this project really allows me to bring more attention to animal shelters that are constantly facing overpopulation issues. Adopt Me Local was created in a 10-day sprint utilizing a Django REST backend with Python, a MySQL database, and a React JavaScript frontend with both CSS and Bootstrap for styling. The tools used throughout the development process include Visual Studio Code, Postman, Git, and GitHub. The APIs used in this project are the PetFinder API and the Google Maps API. Now, in front of us, we're going to see the landing page. And from there, we can either log in or go straight to searching. When you go to log in, you do have the option to register if you don't have an account already. But in our case, we're just going to go ahead and log in. From there, you'll notice the favorites button pop up in the top left, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But let's start off with just doing a basic search for a dog that is house trained. From here, we get this nice little display of cards. And if we click on one, we can see more information about that specific animal, such as if they're neutered, house trained, what their breed is, how old they are, and if they're good with kids, dogs, or cats. We're also able to view the contact info for the shelter, being the email and phone number. Or we can add it to favorites. Say we want to show it to a friend who's been looking for a dog, or show it to our significant other to see if they also agree that it'd be a good fit for our family. As well as we can leave comments below just remarks or words of encouragement, or if you've ever experienced this animal before, you can leave remarks saying they're super friendly, so on and so forth. So now moving on over to the favorites page, you'll see we got a few here, and we're once again able to access that contact information, and we can also have the option to remove an animal from our favorites. So say we're no longer interested in Smokey over here, we can go ahead and remove Smokey from the list, and we're only left with the ones that we want to keep. Moving on, we're going to search for some shelters in our area, and if the user has geolocation on in their browser, you'll notice it auto-populates to their zip code. If not, they can enter a zip code, and then just simply go into their area and see animal shelters in their area. Some issues I ran into when developing this, the PetFinder API was in a format I had never seen before, but with a little bit of research on Postman's GitHub, I was able to quickly figure out how to basically translate that into a format that I was comfortable with and had experience with, as well as with the Google Maps API here. The Google Maps API was a bit of a challenge because I was initially taking the approach trying to account for more features than I needed at the time. So I took a step back from the code, I looked at it and said, what do I need to get this to the minimum standard to get the site up and running? And from there, I was able to go back into Google Maps API documentation and do a little bit of research get it up and running successfully. Now, as far as features I'm going to be adding to this, I do want to be able to get directions from the favorites page to the animal shelter that is specific to the animal. It would just be a simple 
directions button it take you to another page have you insert your address and it would give you directions to that specific animal shelter once again my name is joshua thank you for watching my presentation and i look forward to starting my career in the software engineering industry